Uganda Cancer Institute, Dr. Jackson Oren. I will say something very brief and then ask Dr. Oren to summarize also in one or two lines. I first want to know that my mother, whom I want to thank God for, and to thank God for giving me the privilege of taking care of her, and also to thank the family for allowing us to look after her. I first got to know that she was unwell in July. She gave me a call and said she was not feeling well. I asked her to come so that we could have a chat, but she was struggling. Subsequently, in the month of September, she gave me another call and I said, come. She said she was seeing a doctor in Mango. The next I heard from her was in November. And I became a little uneasy and I told her we need to establish the cause of this. So I am sending you to a team of doctors. Indeed she went, saw them, and when she reported back to me, I gave Dr. Jackson a call in early December and I told him, you need to take care of my mom. She's not well. To a phone call with the Honorable Minister. And to cut a long story short, the submission was made past to the diagnosis that she had cancer of the colon. That is cancer of the large gut. But when we met her, I first met her and had a discussion just to find out how she wanted us to handle the issue. But the first thing I told her was that we needed to confirm this diagnosis. And that means we should do additional tests, which actually she agreed to. We did that with the samples that were submitted to us, and actually our finding was different. Our finding was that this cancer was arising from the pancreas. And after that, we had a discussion with her together with members of the family, and we were just trying to find out from them how best we can actually handle the situation. The reason was simple, because Cancer of the pancreas, rare as it may be, is very difficult to manage. And that meant that the capacity that we have needed to be supplemented from elsewhere. And actually to that, we agreed that we are going to handle her together with our colleagues from outside the country for just two reasons. One, we needed to scale up the treatment in addition to what we can offer here. We needed support from outside. And that meant that additional tests must be done. And that is exam as well as molecular test. For the molecular test we could do, we needed just a few reagents to be brought into the country. But they are very expensive. Currently, in our budget cannot meet that. So, for that matter, the reason why she went outside was not because she requested, but just simply because we felt that we should handle it that way in an ideal manner. So, she went, and she was happy to handle very well. We had some discussion with the doctors in India, and they actually did exactly what we requested. And to cut a long story short, they actually initiated additional treatment from there. And they were very happy, just as the family said, because there was some improvement. But unfortunately, as that improvement was ongoing, 
she developed an unsuspected complication of her heart. And that has led her to be taken back in intensive care. In short, she developed during the time she was in intensive care a cardiac arrest. What that means is that the heart just stops. And that is what led to our death. We want to thank you for the support you have given to the family. We also want to thank the family for the cooperation that they gave us as a medical team. I did not do it alone, or we did not do it alone. We had a combination of members of our profession from the Uganda Cancer Institute to the Lago Hospital to the Uganda Heart Institute. And I should not forget also to thank the team in India at the hospital where she went for the hospital. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you let now, cancer may okay. In a very body, okay. Thank you, FC. Thank you very much, Dr. Jane. Let us be quick. And um, thank you so much for looking after us.